Hey there, everyone. This is Aokao playing a little something called Super Mario 3. However, as you probably saw in the title of this video, we are doing an aesthetic run. So let's explain. By the way, uh, thank you, XFX, for making this possible by making me an alternate version, an altered version of Mario All Star, which is what we're going to be playing. So, what is an aesthetic run? Basically, all it means is that I cannot get any points, I cannot get any coin. I try to beat the game as much as I can while keeping that in place. If I get a coin or a point, I die. Um, so I want to set expectations here. I know Mario 3 a lot less than I know Super Mario World, right? So, uh, I don't know how well this is going to go. I believe that the game will still let me get coins related to, like, the end of the level, basically. Because, yeah, I could wait underneath the goal and wait until the last possible second to get it, but... That's not fun for me, that's no fun for everyone. If that's what you were expected, I apologize, this is not a series for you. I'm more concerned with the puzzle of going through the levels rather than the, you know, the whole no coin thing. Uh, I don't guarantee I'm gonna play every level, but I'm gonna try and make my way through. I give myself the right to put a save at this, basically at any point on the map. Also, I want to demonstrate something. So, as we can see here, just demonstrating the thing, see? I get those points, I am dead. Now, the points still get collected, but, I mean, like, whatever. We can consider that the amount of failure I have. However, I also have the technology that if I hold L or R, it makes that clickety-clack, and I can get things, and I can things all day long. But see, those that 100 was still floating in the air, so I think that's why I died. Uh, so this is what we're doing. So I'm going to try and beat as much of the game as possible. I don't know how this is going to go. Um, I was told this was probably going to be less interesting than Smooth, but I guess we're going to fight out together. Yeah, I know this game a lot less. And Smooth, like, I benefited from a whole bunch of weird tech. Like, all the things you can... Dang it, okay. No, there's no points in just bopping it if it's just a power-up, so that saved me. Um, yeah, like, you know, L and R scrolling was a useful tool. The ways you could, uh, use Yoshi to go around things was a useful tool. But yeah, see, like, I could wait underneath there. Oh, but I don't get any points there. I think normally you are, but I think this was modified. Alright, well, that's fantastic. Here we go, Mario start. So yeah, I, I don't know anything. Well, I mean, I know these levels pretty well. So I believe that power-ups from the Toad House do not give you any points. And so that's going to be... Oh shoot, that's going to be very useful over the game in order to go through things. Oh, my lives are still at five. I think that XVEX also gave me unlimited lives. Well, that's fantastic then. Okay. I still might give myself saves though, because like I said, my only source of power up is gonna be Toad Houses, which is extremely finite. And uh, I am pretty sure that um, video games don't exist, but more importantly, some levels are going to be. Oh shoot, this is this game you have to. Ah, you get points for the star! Uh, I'm pretty sure there are gonna be levels where I'm gonna have to have a power up in here in order to be able to do anything. Alright, okay. So, here's one thing Mario 3's physics are extremely different from World. You have. You have to obey momentum a lot more. Changing your. Direction in midair does not work the same. And yeah, you have to press button on the node lot. You can't just hold a button like good Mario games. That's how you define them. What is... how does the node block work? Oh yeah, that guy's flying. He makes sure he's not on screen. He's not on screen. Double flowers. We did it. Alright, see? Things going somewhere. Alright, so... According to the rules I'm setting up, I do not need to play this or this. However, I still want to give it a shot because, like I said, I want a chance at a mushroom house. Look at that, I got a hammer bro right at the start of the game. It's not a, it's not a hammer though, it's a boomerang. It's a lot easier to handle. I would not want- So yeah, by the way, this is not 
the series you want to watch if you want to learn about Mario 3. Um, there's going to be things I'm going to skip just by the nature of what I'm doing here. There are things I'm going to skip. There's probably going to be levels I'm not going to play. Like, keep that in mind. If you want to learn about Mario... Like, you can try and... I mean, if you're if you're blind in Mario 3 and you're watching this, like, please do share your thoughts on things. But I, I'm just saying it's not... You're not going to be seeing everything. Alright, that works. That, I think I should just jump over, which is what I did. And then I jump in the boomerang. So, over here and here. Go over these. Yeah, simple. Alright, let him throw his boomerang, and you can do that. Um, yeah, I guess I can't get the whistle because that guy's always gonna- No! What did you do there, Goomba? Why'd you do that? But that's just the reality we live in. Look at that giant hill there, that guy's standing around. Dang it! That- mm. Dang it, indeed. Oh. A big chunk of this is just getting reused to these physics, which that's to be expected. I don't play a lot of Mario 3. Like, that's just the reality of it. There is a Mario 3 presence on the internet. Like, there are hacks and stuff. I It's just not something... Yeah, I'm gonna stay down this time. I gotta outpace that Goomba, because I don't want him to run into the place here. Doesn't matter, like, I get unlimited lives, uh, but I get one sweet one up through my blinking thing and thing. So I am gonna put a safe state here, because I wanna make sure I get either fire or leaf, basically. Like, that is extremely irrelevant. See, that's just, that's just not gonna do. That is not going to do. I guess if I was playing on console, I could just start over, and that's fine. Okay, not what I wanted, but could be useful. Because I believe that Boom Boom, you're allowed to kill him with fire without getting points, as well as the Koopling? Not sure. I don't need to play this level, but I want to see how it goes. But, like, if it ends up being impossible, like, I can safely escape it. It's fine. See, already we're kind of seeing a little bit, like, you know, we got these coins there. But, like, that's what I found out when I played this game format in SMU, is that very rarely are coins, like, directly in your passage. You normally have to do, like, a little jump or something to get in their way. And this is what makes this interesting, I think. <sighs> man, oh man, I have to get used to this. Dude, like, I'm trying to stop. <laughs> so, how am I gonna go through this, though? Uh, can I see jump around that? I don't know. I totally can! Ha! <laughs> Alright. Okay, so you do have a lot of control. It's just not necessarily where you think it's gonna be. That's fine. Do I wanna go up there or stay down here? It does not make a difference, and it didn't make a difference. It's like... It's like these blocks there were made explicitly for this run. Like, that's just weird. <laughs> okay. Alright. Here's just a big expanse of nothing. Please enjoy your lunch. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Ah! Could be doable. Hardest part right at the end, huh? Whoops. This is very precise. Yeah, the big wall, the big wall of money. Just 
chillax and relaxing eating rabbits for breakfast. Yeah, that's a legit thing. People have eaten rabbit as food for a long time. Super... Super easy! Turns out to jump over the chicken. But then... Then there's the other jump. I can totally do this. I feel like I could have done that better, but hey, doesn't matter as long as it works. Video games, they exist sometimes. Don't think about it. Eh. So, I just need to like, just jump high enough. There we go. I gotta learn how to modulate my jumps. There's a guy with, with a thing over there, boomerang. He's ready to hunt and kill food through an animal. I don't know what that means. Uh, Alright, so, I'm putting a save here because, uh, yeah, I can use fireballs to kill Boom Boom without gaining any points. So, this has become a uh, don't get hurt kind of thing, because uh, I can't get any power-ups otherwise. See, this is why I was hoping for either fire or tail, if I had a tail. I could fly and get the whistle instead by flying up here. Typically you get your feather here and, you know, you fly above the ceiling and it's a good time. But instead I'm gonna have to deal with the boom boom and duck here even though like, clearly I was safe even standing. This is, this is the first world, it's fine. No, here you need a duck! You gotta remember, Mar okay, you don't need a duck. Mario 3 was fairly mean. Like, it certainly had a mean streak. Alright, so in theory, I can just chuck fireball at this guy. No points. Then I can eat his orb and have a beautiful sandwich dessert. And I think this is the logic I'm gonna hold. Like, I just... Like, we did just like one... Like, without knowing what to expect, I think I'm going to play up to each castle. Like, each fortress. I think that's the safe- I mean, of course, we're gonna play it loose depending on levels. But, like, because I don't know what to expect and any level at all could be a very weird, sudden difficulty spike. Yeah, we're, we're not gonna rush into the mouth of giants here. That's- that's just a bad idea.